and I know this is going to piss some people off. I don't care. <laughs> Back to Square County Homestead. Uh, today I'm gonna go on a rant, pretty good rant. I don't know, it's not something I normally do, but it needs to be said. Uh, first off, hey, go to Facebook, Hot the Prestige by Allison. Get you a shirt. Get her to make your own your own logo design, whatever you need. She ships anywhere. All right, so to my rent. These cages right here. Yeah. Now I'm not I'm gonna show you between, show you the difference between these and the ones we built, okay? And first off, I don't get a dime off of these. You build them, hey, good for you. You're one of the smarter people out there. But I'm gonna show you what's wrong with these with this cage system. Now, my rant is not exclusively about this system. My rant is you've got a lot of folks out there with big YouTube channels. I'm just a little peon, okay? I think we got 1,700 subscribers. Hey, and I appreciate every one of you. But these big channels out there are promoting this garbage. And you want to know why? Because of the money. Their, their show is being sponsored. So they're being sponsored by this company. And of course they promote it. Well, I'm not bought and paid for. So I'm gonna tell you like it is. This is pure trash, pure garbage. Now, if you want a system that you just shove quail in and don't worry about them, you don't like to look at them, you don't like to interact with your quail, by all means, get this one. You know, it's easier to con a person than it is to convince a person they've been conned. Well, this is one of the biggest cons I've seen in a long time. So, you want to spend 500 bucks on some trash, knock yourself out. Not me. Now, we bought this one second hand. We didn't pay 500 for it. Truly, I wouldn't give you a $100 bill for it now. But I, I'm using it. I've got it set up. We're, we're still using it, but we're trying to kind of, we're going to get away from this one. We're going to add a couple more of these over here and uh, transfer these quail to actually a good habitat for them. So, all right, I'm going to show you the differences and the problems we have with them. Mm -hmm. So, I don't see, I mean, this is a three tier system. And they want almost $500 for this hunk of garbage. Now, can you see quail? Can you see them? Yeah, I see one. Got his head poked out. Oh, there's a second one. You can barely see your quail. I mean, you got to get down on your knees, hands and knees to see anything. Look. Isn't that so much nice? So much better. So much nicer. And I'm not promoting these cages. I mean, I don't. I don't make. I don't make them to sell them. I just made them for myself. Put a video out there to show you how to do it yourself. I've got, I think, maybe a hundred dollars altogether 
with the watering system and the feeders, everything. So that is a six foot run, okay? Basically, this is a nine foot run. So two of these tiers is equal one of these, okay? So if you broke it down, building this the same as this, this would be $150 worth. So we're in the process of cleaning. I just want to show you how filthy these things get. Now, and look at this. Now this is the poop tray. And look at all the feed that's wasted in this poop tray. Not only that, <clears throat> Look at all the paint that gets down in the field. Now, this system here, it gets a little dirty because we do have rabbits that down here that molt, you know, and get furred at flies. But I'm going to tell you, we've never, uh, there's our poop tray. You don't have any feed in this poop tray. Look in here, clean. There's nothing, there's nothing dirty. Nothing dirty. All right, guys, I'll, I just kind of wanted to cut in real quick and let you know, uh, there's a couple channels out there, quail related. If you'll look at a uh, slightly redneck a guy named Chris, Real, real intelligent guy on quail. Uh, if you look at his his uh, pan setup, it is strictly an outdoor. Well, you could use it indoor, but it's his is an outdoor setup, and looks like it works really well. I don't know personally; I've never had one, uh, never built one. But he has success with it. Uh, another channel, Caternix Corner. The guy's name is Terry a ton of information out there uh he also has uh cages and i believe there's actually i think he offers actually uh the blueprints and you know cut links everything for his so there's a lot of varieties of cages out there just whatever suits your needs so check those two channels out slightly redneck and Caternix Corner, check them out. Yeah, these little feeders here work well. Now remember, anytime I upload a video on something we use, I mean, I basically had it in use and I've tested it out and I'll let you know how it goes, the results. Always have, always will. Uh, if you remember the first beginning, I told you we may would put some of this pipe insulation here, and we didn't in the beginning. Uh, and the reason being, I do have a couple hands that they want to go to the far back corner to lay. And so traveling, you know, that far, it would sometimes put a little crack in an egg here or there. So I said, what the heck, we'll just throw in, a, you know, that six foot piece of insulation. It works great. If you ever see excess feed in our poop trays, it's primarily because I spill it in there, you know. And you can kind of see where this has warped or something. I don't know. And then <clears throat> there's a couple we always have to check or push down because a lot of times the eggs will get hung up. So we have to push them down. You gotta get way down here to check. And it's just more of a hassle than anything that you can't see. You don't you can't really tell if you got a sick bird in there, something happened to where, you know, these over here, that's pretty explanatory. You just walk by and you see everything that's going on. 
but especially you first timers, maybe <clears throat> beginners, stay away from this. You're not going to be happy with it. Now there's going to be people that's bought 10 sets and they're going to defend it to the day they die. And why is that? It's because it's easier to con a person than it is to convince a person they've been conned. And I know this is going to piss some people off. I don't care. Nobody's bought and paid for me. I'm going to say my little piece and I'm going to go on about my day. All right. So the only thing I really, I kind of liked about this system was their watering system, which I've taken out, but it wasn't a bad system. It's got the bucket up here and it's gravity fed. So I just made it where it's automatic, where I've constantly got water coming in. But that's not a bad system. That would be the only thing that I would say is good with this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little rant there. <laughs> just got to get it off my chest. You know, it just makes me mad when people's out there promoting something that uh, especially beginners don't understand, and it, you know, and they get it, and you can't really enjoy them. But anyway, hey, any other boys, criticisms, comments, put it in the comment section. Let's talk about it. And as always, we appreciate you watching.